And we are live. Okay, so deal for today, we are going to be building, or at least generally, can I play it? Can I press the right buttons? So it's control space. There we go. Okay, so we're at least going to be planning these out properly. Now, there are a couple of things here that are interesting to note that I've been struggling with. Let's actually get under a roof. I don't know if I need phantoms. Just go there for right now. Um, first of all, the beacon range. I've been struggling to figure out how to correlate it into Photoshop because I'm very, very bad at math. Um, it's 50 blocks on the edge of the beacon. Each of my beacon arrays are five blocks. So I need to have 50 blocks on either side of the beacon. Now, the closest you can zoom in on DyneMap makes each block two pixels. So what I did is I then just scaled the image down where each block is now one pixel, and that made the math a bit easier, and I don't have to worry about doubling, which, yes, is enough to mess me up. That's how bad I am at math. And now each one of these squares of each color is 101 blocks across, including the width of the beacon, because that's how it actually works. So now I need to make sure that for each beacon array, we have all of the colors overlapping because that's each one of those beacons. And we have all of the land covered. So that's why we've got kind of these overlapping sections because we want to make sure that we ideally have land, though not required, and we are covering each of the land. So. Uh, another thing, I need to figure out how to get these into coordinate values. So that's some of the math we're going to be doing on stream today. I have set this location right here as my 0, 0 mark. So essentially, that means when we go and do our math to figure out the rest of the coordinates for the beacons, we are going to be taking that as 0, 0 and doing math to figure out the rest of them. And we can compare um, the surrounding like blocks to it as well. So the first one we are going to check against, we are going to go and get the coordinates for this location. And this one's already set up. If we select that and hide it, you can see there is a hole there for beacons that have already been placed. So we need the value for this and we need the center offset for this guy. So I actually need to figure out how to get that because I don't think it's this value. 26 pixels, uh, 108. I think that'll be this top right corner. So then we would need to add, well, I think the easiest way to do it would be this. Just kind of go, no. So like that. So this is 23, no, 2458. Yeah, that's right. So negative 26. Yep. So we'd end up having to value off of that. So I think that's going to be the easier way. Just kind of go where this is going. There's 5824. So let's go figure out uh, what this coordinate is. And we'll start doing math based off of that. So this is the son of Flynn, apparently. I need a notepad. This one is here, and now we need a calculator. Thank you. So it is negative 10716, negative 20097. Okay, so now we're going to take this. And for the first set of coordinates, we need to offset by positive 24, positive 58. So a negative 10617 plus 24 equals negative 10692. And we're going to take U. Place that in there and then positive 58. Is that positive 58? That should be negative 58. 
I love how it doesn't actually tell you if you're positive or negative. That should definitely be negative. We're going to go with negative just because we're above that. And we're going to have to remember that. Minus 58. Okay. So 20155. Negative 20155. I'm going to set that over here. And we're going to grab this. Let's go see what the coordinates for the first value of this are. This is whatever. Okay, so we are at 10692, 10692, no, 10692-20155. Hey, we did our math right. Okay, so that means we can find the one for this one over here, which is, well, let's start with this one. So it is 58 as well and 76. Now that'll be negative 76 because we're on this side. So we want to have the same second value and a different first value. So we'll grab this and starting at this value. Can I copy you please? Thank you. We want to subtract, what was it, 76, minus 76, so 10792, we should be close to the coast, there we go, no, we didn't take it, 10792, right, yes, okay, so I'm going to grab this over here, and we're going to fly off in this direction, maybe. So 10792. Back a little bit. So we're here. And then it's 20155. So it's right here. So we'll be going down that way a little bit. And uh, sadly, this image was taken before that. This looks to be about the right spot. So we're going to mark this out like that. We want to go one, two, three, four, five. Awesome. That looks good to me. We've got the first one marked out. And now let's go grab the second one. This will probably be the next closest here. So we've got negative four, I believe. No, that is positive four. That is positive four. I got to just told that because we have a zero here so positive 4 and 131 i'm going to copy the first value add 4 we've got 10712 and then we want to grab this value and then we want to subtract 131 And that is 20228. Okay, let's go find those coordinates. And that should be on this island out here. Maybe. Where's this island? Oh, here it is. So 10712. Am I even on the right island? This is not the right island. No, it has to be. 10712. Hmm. I feel like I've done my math wrong. Oh. I have. Hold on. So, this first value is what I need to subtract the 131 from. So 1076, 10716 minus 131, 10847. See, that sounds better. 10847. And then we need the Yule. And we're going to add, nope, it needs to be negative. Hold on. 
Okay, plus four. 2093. Okay. We're going to take Yule. Where are we going? 10847. That's this way by 10 blocks. Right there. And then we want to go 20093. That's. Here, perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's that one marked out. And the next one is let's do this one. So this one's going sideways, but it is Positive 94, negative 66, negative 66. Well, let's see. Positive 94 on this value. Plus 94, uh, 10, 62. And then we want this value. Then that'll be minus 66. Two o one six three. Okay, let's go. Exactly where that one should be. Okay, let's see. The so one o six two two. So that's here. And then one two o one six three. How did I land on the exact spot that I'm looking for? Okay, we're gonna go with that. One two three four five. Okay, we're gonna have to shift that over by a block or multiple. One two. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna have to move that this way by three blocks. So let's check that out and see what it looks like and what else we'll have to adjust. One, two, three, four, five. So it'll have to be moved down this way. Oh, that actually doesn't mess with anything. Let's hear one, two, right there. Okay, looks good to me. We have to move it over because we've got a bit of a smelter array there that I forgot about. Okay, next one. And 129, 157, positive on the top, negative on the bottom. I'm actually gonna take these two values here and stick them in that notepad. Because I'm running out of space in this one. So we need 10, 16, 10, 7, 16. And we need to add 129. No, what is this? That's the wrong thing. Invalid input. What are you doing, calculator? There we go. Uh, plus 129 equals 10, 5, 8, 7. So we're going to copy that, stick it in this notepad, which I'm aware you can't see. And then we're going to copy the bottom input. And we need to subtract. Yes. Uh, 157. 20, 2, 45, 54. Okay, and off we go. So that'll be down this way. Let's see. Uh, I think it's up here-ish. No, that's all the way out in the water. Okay. So it'll be down in this cove. We are looking for 10, 5, 8, 7. Maybe. Am I getting my map messed up here? 
No, we are? Okay. 10587 is right here. And then 202, so 20254. Which is right here. 10587-20254. So one, which way are we going? Up or down? Down, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Looks good to me. We've got that one marked out. And next deal is here. We need to figure that one out. We'll be able to save the top value, or no, we'll be able to save the bottom value, but the top value will change. So the new top value is minus 28, I think. Yes, minus 28. Calculator, we need to do a minus 28. 10, 7, 4, 4. Oh, I've lost my original value. Um, plus 28. At least put that original value back. Thank you. Okay, there's that. So, next location is 10744. Are you putting beacons around your entire island? I am, and they're going to be automatically controlled. Uh, 10744. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to plan this out really well, rather than just placing them everywhere. Hello, horse. 10744, right here. And now we've got 2254. This way by a little bit. Perfect. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think I went a little bit overboard. So coming from this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. He's making the concert lighting, ideally, but, you know, the idea is that that five beacon array there, I'll be able to turn off one set of beacons to where I only have some powers, rather than all of them all the time, because sometimes that's annoying. Like, if I'm working with stone bricks, I don't want to have instant mine, but if I'm doing something like that, I want to have instant mine. So, that's kind of a thing. Uh, one slash is missing from your live stream link. It is. Oh no. Fixed. <laughs> I actually had to manually type that in. So yeah, forgot that. Thank you. Okay, that's fixed. Uh, what else do we need? Next one. That's what we're doing. That'll be this guy. That should honestly be easy enough to spot. Let's just walk down there and see how well we can spot it. It'll be lined up with this, and it'll be right against the sand. Um, we don't discuss punishments publicly, and I'm definitely not bringing up punishments in stream. I feel like I've messed up. What was the top value there again? 10744? No, that can't be right. Hmm... I know, it was 2254. Okay, yeah, that's right here. So it's one, two. Yep, that's it. Um, nope, no can do. If you keep doing this in here, I'm going to ban you from my live stream channel. Sorry. Whoa, that's a death island. One, two, three. Got it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that was easy enough to just spot. No math required. Okay, so we've got that one covered. Uh, we need to get this one next. Just heard another zombie convert, though. So I'm going to leave this death island. And we're going to head down here. So that should be on the inside of this piece here. I think it's on the inside. Nope, it's on the outside. Let's go on the other side of the wall, then. Please? Thank you. I was originally on the inside, but I think I moved it to the outside to cover that island there. Okay, let's see where we're going. Are we positive or negative at the moment? We are negative and negative. Or no, that's this way is positive. We've got 65 and negative 7. 
Let's copy our original numbers. So this is negative 7, 10, 7, 2, 3. And now we want this original number. I believe so. 2097 minus 65. No, that's plus 65. So 2032. We will check that math. Let's see. So we have 10723. That'll be right here. That seems to check out. 2032. And that'll be here. Seems to check out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make sure that was actually down. That was. Okay. Now for the fun part. Let's do the math on how many beacons we need. And we're going to go and kill that many withers. And that part is actually really, really fun to do. You get to use pistons and traps and all of that. So we have... Let's actually just count here. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need fifty five beacons. So fifty five times three divided by sixty four. About three stacks. Uh, we'll just kill a stack of withers then. That's not a thing. Welcome to being banned. There you go. You bring up uh, Capecraft punishments in my streams. Instant ban. I will give you a warning, but it's just not going to be a thing. Sorry. Uh, let's grab some soul sand. Do I have soul sand is another question. Hmm... I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Uh, not enough. Let's go grab some more. It'll be down here. And while we're doing that, let's grab some water. <clears throat> okay. Soul sand this way. Oh, that's lava. Hold on. No! Oh my gosh. Not happening. <laughs> How do you have so many skulls? I have a wither skeleton farm that I've put my ults at for quite a while. Uh, the entire um, thing next to it is full of skulls too. Come on, come on. Okay, there we go. This will be nice and easy now. Okay. Just a little bit more. Oh gosh, please don't put me on fire. So I've got... There we go. I've got this one full of skulls and that one. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Home Wither Farm, I think is the name. Yep, this is my Wither Skeleton Farm. It was a community project, but the issue is people kept breaking the farm. So I had to close it. But we dug out the entire area around here. To where the rates are as good as they can be here. Which is quite a feat. This took a good two weeks. So. Really, really fun though. Like we got to keep using beds to blow it up. And um, I was able to make a ton of pickaxes that I gave out during that time too. So it was a really, really fun project. Okay. And if you ever see me come in here. See that massive purple sphere, which I think we'll see as we come down this way. That is the despawn sphere for that farm. I've never bothered removing it. So it just kind of shows up when I'm walking through the nether. We should see it as we head this way too. He buys them and resells them at a loss and makes money in quantity. No, I actually do gain them from that farm. See, look, there's the despawn, despawn sphere in the distance. Um, yeah, that's where the farm is right there. So I'm selling iron. I don't know. 
I did make a post in the market. Okay, let's come up here and down. And now, oh no, I forgot my pistons. Dang it, we have to go all the way back. Ah, I need pistons and stuff. Let's see. So I need levers and pistons, ideally not sticky, and blocks. Let's just do oak wood. Now we have to make that traversal again. Because reasons. Okay. And let's just actually go down this way. See how that works. And there's the tunnel. That's way faster. Awesome. <laughs> ah. At least I knew where I was going. Did not get lost. And down. Perfect. And underneath. Okay. We need to have all of our soul sand here. And all of our wither skeletons as well. We need pistons and those. Okay, let's go. So we actually need to remove these. And we're going to do a dry run here. So we need to have this. And locks and levers. Okay, we just need the one lever. Okay, so we do that, and then we summon. Okay. Ah, but then we'd have to break this. Then we get to summon. Yep, there we go. And the summon. So... This is how you end up stacking withers, by the way. Quite an interesting process. And you can get quite a few of them in one spot. I don't think there's actually a limit as to how many you can get in one spot because they end up healing faster than cramming damage. So that's interesting. And down. Okay. And yeah, it gets quite loud, and of course, it makes a global sound. So, this is going to be fun. And I always like to try and do it as fast as I can as I continue to do it. But that's just me being me. Okay, so they are kind of taking damage. Oh, I made a mistake. There we go. And I literally cannot hear my music over the withers now. So let me know if it's too loud for you guys. Oh, one of them's reached half health. And again, I've managed to fill all three blocks. Two and three. One, two, and three. No, you're the wrong spot. Perfect. One and two and three. Nope, that's broken. I don't know what I'm thinking there. One and two and three. Perfect. One and two. And three. I want to try and get through about a stack of skulls before I try and kill them. Okay. One. And two. And three. One. And two. And three. And one. And two. And three. <laughs> why are you doing this? Which is why? One and two and three. 
One, two, three. Okay. One, and two, and three. One, and two, and three. Okay, one of them is under half health now, so let's take care of that. I don't have Sweeping Edge or Smite on this sword. This is going to take a minute. We're still getting, um, like, summoning explosions, too. Ultimate XP farm, I guess. Okay, for those of you here, if you're picking up uh, stars, please leave them. Thank you. Okay, so we are about a third of the way through. Then it's one, and two, and three. One, two, three. One, and it's all quiet now. Three. See how far we can make it through now before they start taking damage. Okay, there's the first explosion. Okay. One. And two. And that's broken. Three. Not done yet, guys. Sorry. Oh... I forgot to remove the extra sand. This is why we needed a little bit more sand, by the way, because it's a little bit lossy. Normally, they destroy the extra items, too, but that's not a thing here. Come on, right there, and here. One, and two, and three. One, and two, and three, and I messed that up, so I need to go to each side of the feet. One, and two, and three. You know, I saw that you can actually do this with pistons, which I think would be kind of interesting, but it's super complicated because you have to then remove that one. If it was just, you could build the wither without any sort of, um, like, you didn't have to worry about removing that extra piece of uh, soul sand. And it would just summon it from a block of soul sand like you see with snow golems. Then uh, it would be a lot easier. You could just feed soul sand in. And you would never have to worry about it. This, The issue, of course, being that's not the case. And any block between the feet of the wither will remove the wither from being able to summon. So, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, I guess that kind of makes it a little bit better because summoning this many withers is kind of a problem in some ways. Uh, I guess having the ability is kind of the harder part, though. Like, this part's easy. It's just tedious. One, and two, and a little bit up, and three. One, two, three. Oh, you're in the wrong spot. I wonder if it actually is getting destroyed. Oh, it is. I think I've lost a couple of skulls then. Huh. Yeah, let's do that. Do I get those levers back? Yeah, I probably lost a couple of skulls then. Okay, we'll have to go back and pick up some skulls. One, and two, and three. Okay, and one, and two, and three. See, I didn't actually think withers destroyed items here. Behind me. Hello. And here, one, and two, and three. Okay, we're getting to half health again.
I think I actually have a stack of nether stars sitting somewhere around at home. Probably didn't need to do this. Either way, this is fun, so... Come on, last wither. Die already. Thank you. Okay. We should definitely have enough uh, skulls here to take care of the 55 beacons we need, even with the ones that we lost. There's You're this one and this happy, one. Father. Thank you for the follow, Sickly Branch. You're happy to have you. Happy. Oh, you're in the wrong spot. You can't do that. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. And break the one on the feet and do that. Rectifier. And do that. Take this one. Got about 11 more withers to go through. Break that one. 10. And here. Nine. Come on, don't punch me into another block. And eight. And hopefully we actually have enough soul sand. I don't know that I have more in my inventory. Oh, we're out of soul sand. Okay. Hmm. Thought I had enough. Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, do exclamation point song then Bohemian Rhapsody and you should be able to find it. I think I was hitting an immortal one. Okay, hopefully there's enough here to get us to up to 55. Like I said, I think I have some more at home, too. Come on, withers. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed I ran out of soul sand. I thought I gathered enough. Must have made more mistakes than I thought. Okay, perfect. We got the 55 we needed. So I need my axe. We're going to rebuild this area. And these. One, two. One, two. Looks exactly how I came to it. Then. Let's go see if we can find those nether stars I have here. There they are. Should have beacons somewhere around here too. There they are. Awesome. So let's go grab some glass and some obsidian. So obsidian's in here. I don't think that shulker box is going to be enough. Um, no, that should be fine. And glass. I don't think we have any up here. But there should be plenty in this chest. There's that. And up a little bit, please. Thank you. So we're going to take three for now. Let's check this out. Beacon. There's a stack. And we need some more obsidian. And there's a little bit more. So we've got about a stack and a half of beacons now. And we're going to stick those in there. Grab our wither skeleton skulls and put them away. And let's go start placing some of these beacons. Get them actually in place. Uh, so, actually, I don't need to craft any blocks. I've got blocks already made. Let's think about how many blocks we're actually going to need, though. So, we've got 55 beacons we need to place. However, we're doing it in a bit of a weird way. Uh, so, let's actually build one base. We're going to see how many blocks it takes. So, where do I keep my iron blocks? go one two three four five six we'll start with that and let's go and do it on this section so it should be around here somewhere i think it's up this way a little bit there it is so we're wanting to place them all at y50 uh, because then it'll reach all the way down and we don't have to worry about slime spawning down a little bit more and here perfect And that way, too, we don't have to dig down very far. So we're out about the Y60 now. Be a little bit lower. At 57. And 50 is here. Perfect. 
And look at that, we've even got haste here. I didn't realize that. So that's going to make this a lot easier. So if we think here. Okay. We need to go four blocks out in each direction from those. And a little bit more out this way. One of the things I dislike about our x-ray plugin is it makes the blocks come back sometimes. So, yeah. I may need to look into that. Maybe make the radius a little bit bigger or something like that. There's got to be a way to kind of bypass that. Okay. One, two, three, four. Need to go all the way around the edges here. So let's make these raise up by one. That way we can kind of tell the difference. And this way, so that's three. A little bit more this way. And that's four. And let's go this way a little bit. One, two, three, four. That's a stack. Now, nice thing about beacon pyramids is if you get the base out of the way first, everything beyond that is easy. Or at least easier than the previous one. So one, two, three, four. And so first base took about two stacks. There's stack three. And about halfway through the second base. See, this is going to take a lot of iron. And I don't know that I actually have this much iron. And that's going to be my big issue here. Um, because this is kind of a thing that I'm going to have to deal with. I do have the ability to get this much iron. The question is, do I just have it on hand? Okay, one more up. And I need a little bit more space to breathe. We started with six stacks, and we now have... Uh, 61. Okay, let's see. 6 times 64 minus 61 divided by 64. Uh, so a little over 5 stacks, which I could have told you that before. Um, hmm. Now let's multiply this by 64 and multiply it by 9 and divide it by 27. So 107 chests of iron ingots or 53 double chests. Hmm. Definitely don't have that much back stock in my iron farm. Let's see how much I, okay, thank you. Uh, let's see how many blocks I have back stock. Up please, thank you. Make an iron farm. I have one. Could I buy the max gunpowder you sell? Uh, possibly. Maybe after stream. Uh, so that's my iron farm right there. Does not have as many chests as it probably should. That's the actual farm. That's the storage system. Okay, so we have these iron blocks here. And we have another chest around here. This one. Okay. I think that's actually all I have. Hmm. That's disappointing. Let's calculate how much we actually have here. Oh, this side isn't full. That doesn't have anything in it. It should. Hmm. Yeah, huh. That's, uh concerning is that farm should have been active like constantly <laughs> okay i'm gonna have to look into that uh because this should have been working when was the last time this worked okay so that would have been a little under an hour ago was it working overnight
So that's about when I logged in this morning. Yeah, it looks like it was working overnight. Okay. I honestly would have expected a lot more iron from that. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to have to look into that because that's, uh, huh. Okay. Well, something we may be doing is doubling the siren farm up then. Either way, I don't have enough, uh, iron to make that, uh, beacon array. Um, let's think. I've got five double chests of ingots. So that'd be, and I have another calculator. Thank you. 27 times 2 times 5 uh, da -da -dum, divided by 9. That's only 30 blocks. No, that's 30 stacks of blocks. Okay. Is that 30 stacks of blocks? I feel like I'm messing myself up here. So... 27 slots for stacks of ingots times 2 for 54 sta slots for stacks of ingots times 5 for 270 slots for stacks of ingots in 5 double chests divided by 9 figure out yeah that's 30 stacks of blocks hmm how many stacks of blocks did I need? So it ended up being... Let's just do 5.5. 5.5 so times... Oh yeah, times 55. Oh no. Because it's... Not times 55. How many did we have here? 11? 5.5 times 11. We need 60 stacks. We're close, actually. A lot closer than I realized. Well, let's go ahead and block these up. I need a trash can, which is here. Come on, get rid of the torch. Thank you. Okay. So let's throw these on the ground, and 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 these on the ground. And these on the ground and we're gonna start blocking these up oh I could script this the question is is it really worth it at the end of the day it's just back and forth I have thought about it because like what I could do is I could literally just have when the crafting table is open um, go here click back click the button again go here click back go back and I would just have like a script where it's shift and a button on my keyboard or on my mouse pad. It will go click, 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 click. That's all I would have to do since I'm already holding shift. And I could do it. And it would make crafting like this a lot easier. No, I don't want those. I don't want to craft seven iron leggings. That's not, no, nine iron leggings. I don't want that. Let's do this. Iron block. No, it's block of iron, isn't it? Block of iron. There we go. Now that's the only thing I can shift. So, yeah, I definitely could code something like that. I don't think it's worth it in this instance, though, because I'm probably going to spend more time coding it for this one task. Uh, this would probably be worth it, though. Get rid of those blocks that are already stacks. There we go. So craft that one. And now I can craft far more at once. Get rid of those, get rid of those. See, that does make sense. And then once I get enough ingots filled up to where I don't have space for blocks, I switch over and start working on that. Okay, so now we have to come over here and we're gonna fill this one up with blocks. Okay, and let's come here, throw the ingots back. Grab a stock of blocks. Do that. And now we can go back to doing this. 
This is how you block iron, and it is a thing. So, I don't know how many of you remember the Iron Titan. It was something that broke in 1.14, and is only super popular on, like, private servers, because to do it well on a large server requires that you, um, like, have a lot of maintenance. Uh, because for spigot, you really can't maintain it. Uh, it breaks a lot, and there are inconsistencies between spigot and vanilla Minecraft that don't work well with it. And it's one of the reasons that Mojang decided that they were going to standardize how iron farms are built. Um, that way you can have this kind of uh, working relationship between uh, different versions of the game uh, on Java. Um, so the last place that I played that had an Iron Titan was actually the creator of the Iron Titan's Patreon server. And you could actually get paid in iron to go to the community Iron Titan and block iron. Um, because uh, the first thing that everybody would do every single time is band together to build said Iron Titan. And after that, there was like this big thing where people would have to go up and block the iron so people could use it. But there was a quota as to how much you were allowed to take. And they kind of had the same stuff that we do, where you can go up and figure out um, how much and when people took things. Um, because it was a big deal when somebody started taking all of the iron. However, you could just kind of take the iron as long as you weren't being a jerk about it, because uh, it was a community thing. Um, but if you took every single iron in the entire chest without asking, then there was a bit of an issue, because now nobody else could have iron until the farm made more. Um, so that was a thing. But during the beginning, you could get extra iron in your quota when there wasn't much that was blocked if you went up and blocked it for everybody else. And that was kind of a cool thing, and I liked that. Because what it came down to was people would um, like do this nice thing for the rest of the community and get paid a little bit for it. And it was really cool. Okay, so we've got a little bit of iron there. How much do we have to block in this? Not much at all. Okay, let's think about how much we can do with that. So we have 27 plus... 27, which is some strange amount that I always manage to forget. I think it's like 54. Yes. Okay, and we need 60. Hmm. Oh, we have that here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It, was it 60? So 5.5 times 11. Yeah, we needed 60.5. We actually have enough. Hmm. But we're, like, completely decimated on iron now. Like, every bit other than, like, three and a half stacks is gone. Ha. Huh. Okay, fair enough. I was not expecting to actually have enough there. Let's figure out where we need to go. Uh, let's go down to this one. We'll start there. We're going to block off this guy with some dirt. Thank you. Now, the main reason I wanted to get this done today, rather than um, anything else, is uh, there is kind of a issue that we need to sort out with these. And it's interesting because it's part of the plan for it. Uh, I'm wanting to go around and have each beacon be able to be turned off. However, that means I need to have some connection between them and i'm basically just wanting to dig out a massive area at y50 um so that way i can just build whatever redstone i need but that means i need to have the beacon set up previously which makes it kind of hard um because now i have to come over here and lay them out and i don't have the ability to mark it out on flat terrain So that's why I wanted to go down and do the math for all of this today and get everything laid out and try and figure out how it's supposed to work. 
Um, so in between streams, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go around and set these up to be instant mine. Um, that way, I can mine out that area in the middle, and I'll actually be able to do it within a conceivable amount of time, rather than wasting all of my time on slowly mining blocks individually. Um, but that means next time we work on this project, we'll actually be able to work on the underlying redstone for it. Which I have some ideas for, but I need to look into, because there are some limitations. Like, we need them to be able to work across chunk boundaries when you have some of them unloaded. So, there is some interesting redstone mechanics to follow there. Which is another reason why I'm really excited about this project. Um, so, essentially what I needed to do is, when a chunk is unloaded... I need it to act as if it's sending the signal that way, then when the chunk is loaded, continue to send the signal. And there are ways to do that, and they're really, really cool and fun to work with. I don't know if they still work in this version, or if there are new ones to do it, but uh, the way I remember you had to do it was you had to set up a piston that was pushing a redstone block. Then when that redstone, and you had to put it on the chunk border. Then when the chunk would load, it would realize, hey, I've got a redstone block pushing up against this chunk border, and there's a redstone dot on the next chunk. I need to activate this redstone, and it would continue to go down the line. But that means for every single chunk that you're going across, you need a piston, a redstone block, a repeater, and dust. And that can get expensive pretty fast when you're going over a large area. Luckily, this area is not too large, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. But it is going to be something we're going to have to manage. I need to get up here and break you. Perfect. So, I'm just still surprised that we have enough iron. Like, this is a ridiculous amount of iron, and we actually have enough just sitting around. Granted, I had to block all of the iron I had in backstock, and I only have three stacks left. But I'm glad I actually have enough here. Okay, there's that. And I'd like to fly, please. Next one is here. We're going to go down to Y50 again. I need some water. The water is something I have been neglecting for years. And I finally started drinking it again. And I feel way better. However, there is one massive downside. Now that I'm drinking water... I am ridiculously thirsty all the time. So, yeah. Uh, I do feel better, though. But it's made me realize how much you actually need to drink water. I've been drinking, like, five of these a day. And this is a lot of water. But I'm still ridiculously thirsty all the time. Oh, hi. This is a cave. Um, I need to go up a little higher. There we go. One, two, three, four, five this layer one two three four okay and out this way four one two three four and everything else needs to be mined so water is important and you end up drinking quite a bit out of it if you're drinking what you need to be and that works. Okay, and let's mine this out. Oh, geez, it's 8 o'clock. Okay, um, yeah, that's actually all the time I have for today. I didn't realize how much time had passed. So I'll get all of these beacons laid out in between, and I'll mine out the area here at Y50. And then hopefully next time we work on the project, that probably won't be the next Capecraft stream just from the area I have to mine out. Uh, we'll be able to get the redstone in and we'll have a controllable beacon array. I will see you guys tomorrow for what should be regrowth. So have a nice night.